Well, my name is John McCravey. I'm the representative for House District 13, and uh, I happen to be also the host of, of our non-political uh, Patriots Barbecue. Well, this is an event, you know, for the public and for our first responders and veterans of the area. And so everybody's invited, the public's invited. We're going to have a great time of honoring our veterans and first responders. We're going to have a, a Fat Daddy's Barbecue is catering this, so it'll be good eating, and we'll have a good time. And uh, we've got we've got a, a very short program, but very meaningful program. We're going to have the Ware Shoals High School Band there. They're going to play the Star Spangled Banner and uh, finish with with the Armed Services Medley. Uh, we're going to have the uh, we're going to probably have a life flight uh, right now. It's scheduled. You know, weather can call that off, and it has in the past, but. If, if the weather's good and there's no emergencies that they have to you go to, uh, they're going to try to land their helicopter there and let some of the kids see that. We'll have fire trucks there. We'll have the big yellow fire truck from Hodges. You know, they always come, and that, that's, a, that's a fun thing to look at. And so uh, we're going to have a good time, and, the, you know, the, we're going to have some dignitaries there. We've got the South Carolina Adjutant General, the head of our National Guard, is going to be there. He's also a major general in the Army. So uh, we're going to have the commander of the State Guard, the State Fire Marshal, uh, the uh, president of South Carolina Fraternal Order of Police is going to be there. And, of course, our sheriff, our chief of police in Greenwood, and uh, many other people, our fire coordinator, our fire department chiefs will be there. And so we'll recognize them, and then we're going we're gonna to honor uh, uh, our first responders and veterans. Back in 2019, you know, and, and even before that, we see a lot of things in the press that are negative about our first responders. But people, if you ask the common man out here, do they appreciate our first responders? They do. And so we want to get back to that. We want to get back to a positive message about our veterans who fought for this country and sacrificed, and our first responders who sacrifice all the time for us. Uh, Jim. <laughs> uh, Jim is chairman of our board, our local veterans board, and uh, he has made a huge difference in, in our county and our state, really, for veterans. So I, I want to introduce Mr. Jim Dominic and uh, let him say a few words about what this means to them, too. Well, thank you, Reverend McCravey. I appreciate so much the opportunity to come and come and uh, have the opportunity to, to talk with, with you and, and, and all of our veterans and all of our uh, audience out there. This is a very, very special event that you are, are putting on, and it's very, very appreciated uh, 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 within the community. Uh, I just want you to know that uh, uh, I appreciate it so much. Uh, I think that all of the community, uh, all of the veterans should be excited to come. And we thank you and your committee so much for putting this uh, uh, wonderful patriotic uh, barbecue on. And thank you very much for doing that. Uh, I am the uh, chairman of the Veterans Hall of Heroes Board of Directors. And that is a uh, board that is with the uh, uh, Greenwood Veterans Office. Uh, one of the things that we're exceptionally proud of is the fact that uh, we have, uh, have a wonderful facility up there that the county, this is a Greenwood County owned property and project, but it's a wonderful uh, veterans uh, museum. Secondly, the facility that is there has a wonderful facility for the VA itself to be able to have a large enough area to uh, uh, conduct the business that the VA has. Uh, thirdly, uh, the uh, building has rooms that many of the uh, veterans organizations can, can uh, have their meetings in. And lastly, and probably dearest to my heart, is the exterior memorial plaza, which is one of the nicest that we can imagine when completed. I feel confident that all of the veterans in this county, as well as the citizens of the, uh, of the community and the state, will recognize this as being a first class, exterior, county-owned veterans memorial 
that can be as proud as any within the United States. Even today, uh, we have many of, of our veterans and many of our warriors that are still giving the ultimate sacrifice. And for me personally, it, a senior veteran, uh, I am so thankful for you and your committee for putting this on. And the, I encourage all of the veterans to come and, and participate and enjoy the wonderful fellowship and enjoy the wonderful uh, speakers that will be there and to uh, get the recognition that they so much deserve. Yeah. Jim, weren't you a colonel, or did you, right. did you serve? What, what was your what was your rank, and what did you say? How did I'm, you serve? I'm a uh, lieutenant colonel in the United States Army, retired. Okay. And, uh, I've uh, I've served throughout the world, All right, and uh, many continents. Well, and uh, I, I want to thank you for your service here thank today. You, so we appreciate you. Well, so to uh, to the viewers out there. We just want to re-emphasize that this is going to be a fun thing, it's going to be exciting, it's going to be educational, and it's going to be informative. And above all, it's going to be patriotic. So you're all invited to come. Thank you. It's going to be on, it's going to be on November 2nd, this coming Tuesday at 530. So uh, be there on time because I know we're going to have a line up to get started with the barbecue. You know, we'll have hand sanitizer there, we'll have masks for those who want them, and we'll, we'll try to do the best we can to, to accommodate anybody's needs and anybody's desires in that regard. It, it will help us if you can RSVP, it's not required, but it will help us if you can call 388-9100 uh, and just RSVP and tell us if you're coming and how many are coming. Uh, we've planned for a lot, but, uh, but we just want to make sure we have enough. And uh, thank you so much.